Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Heavy Cardboard. Tonight, we're busting out uh, Quebec, uh, designed by Philippe Bedouin and Pierre Poisson Marquis, which I believe are both from Quebec. Uh, this is published by Story Games a decade ago, back in 2011. We streamed this back in 2019, and uh, since, apparently there are six copies available on Amazon right now. I'd hurry. Um, yeah. So uh, it's a game that we played last weekend that we all really, really enjoyed and said, hey, why don't, we, uh, why don't we do that again? So we're doing that again, and we wanted to play it. So here we are. So welcome, everybody, watching live around the world as well as After the Fact. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by... Alyssa. Martin. Ken. All right, that's it. I'm not going to do a full teach because did it apparently fairly well, at least moderately well, back in 2019. I'm going to do an overview, and then we're going to just roll into it. So welcome, and yeah, I'd say let's let's get into it. Y'all ready? Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's cool. All right, I will I will go ahead and read the thing. I won't do as good a job as Martin did last time, but. I can do it again. Okay. Oh, please. All right, go for it. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to read it. Okay, go for it. Founded in 1608 by Samuel de Champlain, the city of Quebec is without doubt one of the most historically significant cities in North America. Throughout the four centuries of its existence, the fate of this city has been governed by various human activities that are the foundations of Western civilization. Religion, politics, economy and culture have all left their mark on this world heritage site. In Quebec, you are in charge of a rich family whose goal is to acquire influence by building the city of Quebec. The game covers four centuries, during which you will build the most prestigious buildings and palaces of the city, all the while ensuring your presence in the great spheres of power. It is up to you and your adversaries to build Quebec in your colors. Here we go. All right. Um, I don't know that you really feel like that when you're no. playing the game, but uh, it's a really cool, really uh, clever, really well done Euro. So let's get into it. Um, all right. So the game takes place over four centuries. A century will end uh, one of a number of ways. It will end either when each of us takes our architect and there are no more blue discs for it to start a new building out there, or if all of their cubes are not here, either in front of them uh, active or unavailable, i.e. passive, in their supply. Uh, the, game, uh, the round ends immediately, the round the century, then we, go, we have a scoring, and then we do that four times, all right? On your turn, a player takes one of four actions. Either start a new building, contribute to a building, put a worker in a zone of power, which is the, uh, the um, don't do that, yeah, oh, well, that's all I can do action, or take a leader card. All right, so taking a leader, you can do this once per century, pretty easy. You choose one. Once you have a leader, that's it. And at that point, it is just a, uh, a rule breaker for you. If other players have taken some before, I'm starting to go into a teach, you get extra workers, doesn't matter. Anyway, what we're going to be doing is the goal of the game being victory points, round the outside, round the outside. What we are trying to do is use our architects to then contribute and we will add our workers to these various buildings out here uh, to create the various buildings in Quebec. When you put your architect out there and you contribute to a building that is started by your architect, you do not get to do the special thing that is surrounded by the various things. If you go, if you use your workers to go to a building that someone else's architect has, you do get to do what the bonus is. And honestly, we will go over what the bonuses are when we actually go there. The important thing to note is each of these bonus little centers have three buildings associated with them. They are associated with the same color. So for instance, this blue one here has that one, that one, and that one. And the buildings will become available when they have a blue disc on it. Apparently Lincoln is drunk. Uh, uh, it will uh, take effect that century only. That's pretty much it. We have a, sp uh, a special event that's going to happen every year, and that's it. Go through that. There is a very clever uh, scoring mechanism where we will score cubes that are in the citadel and then we will cascade based on this chart down. So whoever has the most here will take half, put them in there, count all those. Whoever has the most, ca uh, half of those cascade, so on and so forth. Whoever has the most points wins. I think that's good enough. All right, let's go ahead, go over what the uh, event is first and then we will figure out 
player order. Mm, glasses. Birth of the Sovereign Council, Roots of the Quebec Government. The first two players to complete four buildings in three of the four different colours scores points. First to do it gets eight victory points, second to do it gets four victory points. All right, so go and put that on top, if you would, please. All right, so first one to complete two buildings in three of the four colours. Okay. Okay, doesn't matter whether it's one, two, or three that's mm -hmm. been uh, contributed. All right, you want to randomize turn order, Martin? Indeed I will. As I mentioned right. earlier, I don't have a pack of cards with a Quebec theme, but I do have a Newfoundland themed, so, you know, it is basically the same country. Uh, Christopher Clark is in chat if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, yeah Chris, I just want to say thanks for uh, the other night. <laughs> ah! Ah! All right, I got it. it. All right. Yep. All right, so Alyssa, you begin. Everything is set up, so you have four options. Start a new building. Well, start a new building or take a leader. That's Or really, I guess, put a worker in a zone of power, sure. but you really don't want to do that. All right, let's do it. All right. I think we'll start with this one here. And, and activate, 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 activate three, workers. three workers. Now, one thing I would like to point out is uh, I'm going to take them from there, so I'm going to cover them. Uh, that's, that's why I did that. Because, He's not the only one. <laughs> yeah. These are what's available to you, these only. So. I usually push them off to one side, but then you won't be able to see them at all. Yeah. Of course, you can't see them anyway because it's covered with yeah, those. Yeah, fair, so, but you know. yeah. beggars can't be choosers. Indeed. It is like that, isn't it? Um, that one, but that one. Yeah. Welcome, Jeffrey. Glad you could make it. And everybody else from that. From the country this city is in, and I can't find a decently priced copy anywhere. Sorry, Brent. I will think. I will open up there and activate Twat Workers. Okay. Mm. So whenever you place your architect to start, if you wish to do so as an action, uh, you choose one of the available buildings that has a blue marker that is from this century, and then uh, activate three workers, as you see. There you go. Now, Ken could choose to start, or he could contribute to any of those. I could, but I think I'm going to start my own. Uh, you know, I think what we found is that getting the extra three workers gives you a flexibility that's sort of hard to beat. Mm. So... And the trick for me was deciding where yes. to, to place. Somewhere in the middle seemed kind of good. And of course, purple is the first <coughs> cascading area, first area yes. to cascade into. So I'm thinking that people would like to get their cubes onto purple. I absolutely agree with that assessment, Martin. I don't like my choices very much, but I'm going to take this one. Huh. All right, well, uh, I'd already made up my mind to go a different route. So I am going to uh, contribute to a building. So let me, here, just because this is the first time we're doing this, I will go ahead, I think you can, yeah, you can see this. So I'm gonna take two of my active workers and place it over here onto this building, here. And you can have a total of three contributions total. That is one contribution. The reason it's two cubes is because the area of power or the area that it is a part of shows that it is two cubes. So therefore, I contribute two workers, two cubes. And then, because it is not my architect that's out here, I then can go ahead and do what the special ability is. And this special ability says I can take passive workers, i.e. not from my hand, and contribute to any other building out here on the board. But you do not get the special ability of what that is. So I, ah, the things that I'm thinking about here, so I, my choices are this, pur this purple building, this purple building, or that's it. I like the idea, well, actually, maybe not, never mind. Yeah, okay. Um, so now the question is, do I contribute to this one or this one? Because in the end, they're all going to go into purple, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter. But I like the idea of going ahead and contributing more. And so, because this area here shows three, and I think it's on the same one, yeah. Uh, this one shows that there are three. I'll go ahead and take three from the passive 
and put them out there, but I don't get to do what the special ability is, so I'm not going to talk about it. Boom, done. But now I only have one in my hand. This one requires two, this one requires three, this one requires two. So I'm probably going to place my architect next turn. Could always place it in a I could. area of power. I could. Probably not going to, though. I think I will contribute here, which lets me take one from passive and put it in the citadel, and one from passive and put it anywhere, which we will... Anywhere that's not the citadel. Anywhere, so, not everywhere else. One yeah. passive into the citadel and one into anywhere else, and there you go. All right. Well, I thought Edward's move was truly brilliant, so I will copy it. <laughs> so I put um, yep. two there. I mean, these come from your hands, not from... No, from passive. From passive. But you took... Oh, because you hadn't got the extras, did you? That's why you uh, had to do it that way. I'll get there. So I'm doing exactly what Edward did for pretty much the same reason. I like the idea of getting three cubes into purple. I like the idea of... Uh, doing that because that puts five in play. So it seems like a good, for really good plan. Hard to complain about any of that. I'm going to contribute here, which will allow me to do essentially just what Alyssa did and contribute one there. And yeah, for now, let's, let's contribute here. All right, so I only have one cube, so I could place it in a zone of power. Not going to do that. That's wasteful. I could choose a leader, actually. Um, should we go over what the leaders do? Sure. Ah, well, because I'm thinking about... You could take one. You could just, just describe it as describe you take it them. Take it. Yeah, okay. All right, fair enough. I'm not going to, I don't think, but I could. So instead, I think what I will do is, because everybody has two contributions of the three, which would make it a level two building as opposed to the best level three building, I would like to incentivize y'all to go ahead and complete your buildings by coming on over here. Mm. And what this does is it allows you, uh, oh, that is the wrong one, sorry. Uh, don't bother, I'll just move it over here. I meant to put it there. There we go. Uh -huh. um, so what this one does is this requires three workers, but it increases the level of your building from a level one to a level two or a level two to a level three. Yep. So there you go. Okay. Hmm. Tempting. Yeah, I know. I, I messed up the link. I apologize. See what Christopher and I'll I'll fix it here in a you know what? I got a minute. I'll fix it now. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, I don't really want to go into blue this early because it's gonna be the last scoring area. So I think that's I'll, what I was thinking as well. So I think I'll end up here again, which gets me one in the Citadel, and one over there. Does that count as a glory to Rome? I was going to go here, and since I've got four cubes, then there. Mm -hmm. um, which would have been quite a nice move and got moved all my four cubes off. But no, because the, the new cubes are passive. That's true, but that's true. So actually, yeah, no, so I, uh, I was thinking wrong again, as usual, for me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat what I did uh, last time, I think. Two in here, <sighs> and then three from passive. Oh, and I should have activated three in workers. Here. Which I think is a nicely... That's going to put get plenty of my cubes into, into position, not bad, which is good. Martin, not bad. It's not bad at all. I think it's... I'm just glad it's not my turn, because that would be ugly if you're me, because then I would have to contribute to my own building, which yeah, is useless which is, right now. Which is so, rough, yeah. especially three cubes into a blue building. That I can't use. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Uh, the link's fixed, by the way. Yeah, and th this, of course, makes Edward's position look really, actually, rather bad because we've, we're going to all have three star buildings, so we'll have zero desire to go to a uh, blue building. Hmm. Well. So we've, we've nicely shot Edward in the thigh. Not really, <laughs> um, because what you've done is you made it to where no one's going to get that building this century. Right, you'll have to move it in. I'll just, I'll just move it. Yep. And yep. I still get to activate the three workers, so yep. Yep. it's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a small, you know, impediment, but not massive. And you walk, and that is a very isolated building, so it's yep. tricky to get into your uh, right, area control. At yeah, the it's isolated game. and it's surrounded by force, so you don't even know if you're going to connect it. 
until the very end of the game. So you do get bonus points at the end of the game for the largest area that that's you've con got all contiguous, contiguous together. So that's yeah. another thing that you kind of keep in the back of your yeah. mind as you're So that's what I'm thinking playing. about right now as I'm trying to decide my move. So a, a natural choice for me would be to go to this one next door. But the action associated with this is to score points based on the number of regions in which you have cubes already. And everybody only has cubes in a maximum of two regions right now. So it really would be better to go there once everybody has people in a third region. Now I suppose as soon as Alyssa moves her pawn... No, because it's only you and me out on the board right now. So they, they're getting their first region with that. Yep. So I think what I'll do instead is go to a pretty, I think, a pretty just sort of objectively appealing spot, which lets people put two cubes in the citadel. Yep. Two passive cubes in the citadel. And since I've completed that building, I will get to score. And since I had three contributions, I'll get to score three stars. There we go. Um, That's, this really goes here, though. There. Sorry. Thank you. Yep. Uh, oh, and I get to activate three workers. Do me a favor and organize those a little bit over there, yep. please. We'll do. Um, <laughs> I could contribute here, which is a viable thing. Uh, but because it's likely they're going to move their pawn, so then it just becomes a question of what does Ken do really on his turn. And unfortunately, they both have two workers each, so going here does, wouldn't incentivize them because they don't have enough workers to be able to go to that location. So, honestly... After they move, though, they will. Huh? After they move, they will. Right. So, if that's the case, then I might as well do this, I guess, there, which is going to allow me up, oh, sorry, Cost a three, third, yeah. Yeah. and I place two in the Citadel. Done. I'm going to take a leader. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. hey, Pierre. you take a leader, you ought, ought to take it before you move your guy the first time. That's right. right. So, so, this... this Oh, okay. There we go. You're good. Right there. So, took a leader. Yeah, so this leader, every time for the rest of this, this century, if I complete a three-star building, I get four points. A two-star building, I get three points. And a one-star building, I get two points. There you go. Pierre's here, one of the code designers. Oh, that's ah. awesome. Welcome, and uh, thank you again for such a lovely game that we're enjoying again after a couple of years. And hoping hoping somebody picks this up to get it reprinted, Pierre. Yeah, we do definitely want that. So, I can't contribute to that spot over there because I've only got the two cubes. Yep. Um, I turn my nose up at this spot here because, you know, the bonus is crap. Um, so that means I'm not contributing cubes. None of the leaders feels like it's really doing anything for me at this point. Um, I actually, this one's quite good. This one allows me to redirect cubes to any of the four buckets, mm -hmm. um, which can be quite handy at the point where you're ready to direct your cubes. I'm fairly happy with where I am here, but actually giving myself a little bit of direction, I think that would be quite handy. So I'm going to take that leader and I get one cube for that because one person has already taken a card. And do me a favor, scoot your hand up a little bit. And so that's nice because then that puts three cubes Good. on me. So if it gets round to me, I will be able to go in there. Of course, it's got to get round to me, but... Well, Alyssa's not going to be able to go on it. Edward's not going to be able to go on it, so it will get round to me. Mm -hmm. All right, Ken. And Ken may not want to go on it. On here? Certainly on not, your own spot. Yeah. Certainly not right now. If you don't get the bonus. And so, yeah, there are a couple of things that are sort of pointing me towards taking a leader. One is that every time a leader is taken, the next leader activates more workers. Another is that, as Martin points out, I don't really have a lot of great spots from which to choose right now. And so, I'll admit, I have not really ever figured out how to make the yellow leader work well for me. It seems tempting, but every time I choose it, it I feel like I end up it not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, the Citadel just lets you put three passive into, into the, the Citadel, Citadel which right. is great. It's three points and possibly help you cascade for more points. Correct. Um, but I think the one I'll take is the uh, the religious leader, which lets you break the rule that says if you if you you know place on your own uh, building or contribute to your own building, you, you do you, get to you do still that. are yep. able to do that. All right. So I'll I'll take that one. So that's the and activate two activate workers. Activate two workers also. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, Pierre says uh, Philippe uh, should be stopping by as well, and hopefully it'll be republished. I, I, is there anything in the works? Can you say anything, if so? Um, well, at this point, now I will just punt. So this was useless, so that just goes away. Oh, and it's a nice red... This, this For those who don't know Quebec, uh, these red metal roofs are the kind of signature look of, of Quebec. Well, y'all chose. I'm just saying, y'all chose very, very poorly. Uh, I just wanted you to take it later. I love that one. I just wanted it to be a little yeah. later. Well, I, 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 y'all did stuff you weren't supposed to. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happened. So, and the fact that, like, where things are aren't terribly useful for next century either, for largest grouping. But this one kind of makes sense, sort of. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm well, good with be, that. It'll be easy to connect to there. I guess, <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. It does not. Yeah. There we go. Good try. All right, so this one allows you to actually activate any of the special abilities of the other purple spots. And it's only one cube. It's very Open tasty. for business. Very Just saying. Tasty. All right, well, I have no choice but to move my... That's not a true statement. You could go over to the purple. I could, I suppose, but... All right, so now Martin, Martin gets to... Normally those would all go to yellow, but Martin gets to oh, choose... I'm going to put them wherever the... I like. But it is, it is any one location. Correct. Choices, non choices. Citadel. Not the Citadel, but right. I think this seems like a good spot. Sure, why not max it out? Now, it's maxed out because the maximum amount of cubes you can cascade is five. So half rounded down, or half of ten... Five, yes. And so, I score four points for my leader. Ah. Unless somebody tries to compete with first place for this for me, I'm unlikely to want to put more in there. But I can choose where they go, so I have the power to make that decision. Four for green, please. Oh, four for green. Sorry. I was trying to elucidate my brilliant you strategy. You are fine. You are fine. And now it's me. And so I will take the, the opportunity to plot free onto that spot. As you should. Oh, and I should have activated three. Actually. And that allows me to pop two into the citadel from my reserve, which is good, I think. And I will follow suit. Now that I have the purple leader, I can do that. Hmm. Hmm. Press appealing. Well, all right, this is not going well. Um, yeah, this is actually going really, really poorly for me. Alyssa's space is nice. Yeah, or I choose a leader. And at this point, I think I will go ahead and just go ahead and choose a leader. Y'all have all chosen a leader, so I get to activate three. Yes. And mm. while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and add three to the Citadel. That is my leader's benefit right there. There we go. All right. There have been offers to republish as well as a card version prototype. That's all I can say for the moment. All right. Well, mm -hmm. there's that. That's Good. Yeah. Hey, welcome. All right, cool. And so I can take any purple. Yep. All right, one to the citadel, one other area. This is one to any area, and then move two from a, any area to any one area. Or one in hand and one anywhere, and score a point. Yep, those are yeah, your three options. One, two. one in hand, one to the citadel, and then a point. Please. Point for green, Martin? Yes, sorry. All right, you're up. So, I'm pretty much at the position where I want to move my architect now, since I have no um, cubes to play. So where to go? So, yeah, 
Ken already explained why that was not as appealing because blue scoring, well, it's getting a bit better, but I'm on, um, I don't have that much in many places. And other people haven't either, so still a bit iffy, that one. Um, if I'm looking to try and get a cluster of things together for the area control later on, this might be interesting. Um, people will probably like that because it allows you to put three um, into your hand, which is a good way of getting cubes in. Um, on the other hand, um, there's here, which allows people to put cubes into the purple or yellow area, which could be quite fun. Um, this is any yellow option, but you're kind of in the middle of nowhere and it's only a one cube, so that might get kind of stuck in the way that... Oh, I think it's really good because you can put You one can take any, any yellow action, yep. so yeah, that's, that actually makes it a lot more appealing, but you know, how important is it to be over there anyway? So given those choices, I think I'm going to go here. My thinking is I, I, it's kind of nice to be close to where I want to be. Three stars when you're ready to score it, Martin. Okay. I'll, uh, put three stars on there. That lovely church. Okay, well, I'm going to move as well, and I am going to move here. Now I think it's good enough to uh, make things. Have a good one, Pierre. Thanks for hanging out. Mm. Martin, where would you like these pink ones to go? Um, I think they can go into red. Okay. I'm happy with them in red. Since I know that I can activate three workers. Well, yellow is appealing to me at this point, I think. Well, hold on. And ties are friendly as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I moved my architect. I could put three cubes out. Yes. Uh, pretty key for you. Rather important, yes. Yep. Yeah, I think I will go ahead and go there. So I get to activate one from under my hand. Done. And one any way you like. And uh, any one. All right, good. And one point for orange, please. Six, that's seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, done. All right, we will continue the... I, I, I'm shape. here for you. Yes, awesome. and uh, <laughs> we'll take, we'll do that one over there this time, which lets me put one in any region. And then move to. And then move to. Oh. oh. Got a little competition there, Mark. Indeed, but with this card, of course, I do hold a useful advantage. I'll um, say. So, where, where do I want to go? I want to definitely use my cubes. I pretty much already decided that I fancied plopping a couple here. And that allows me to activate one for my hand and put one anywhere. And a point for pink. And I get a point as well. So, well, the Citadel, I'm definitely not going to win the Citadel. So really what I want to do is to say, okay, how can I keep my Cascade going? If I do that, I'm going to get 5 plus 4, that'll put 9 into the red, which will also potentially make a nice Cascade. So I think I'm going to go that way. I will contribute. Right, Rocky? Here. Uh, which scores me 4 points. Because 1 area, 2 areas, 3 areas, 4 points. Four points to black. And I'm really conflicted. Uh because I really want to be able to do that. Yeah, this is tough. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. I, s I support this. I think. Mm. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I do not. Hold on. I'll put three there and activate my last three workers. So this is now empty. So I have six left. If I get these six out, then that will trigger the end of the century um, early instead of all the buildings being in work, at least. Hey, Philippe. All right. We'll finish that building. Pierre leaves. Philippe. <laughs> one designer leaves, and one designer enters. We will do one to the Citadel and one to Purple. Mm. I fully intend to leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can trust your brain. Mm. Totally. <laughs> well, especially with three coming in from uh, from that uh, position there. Hmm. That puts me in difficulties, potentially. Oh, but you've got your magical leader. I do, but you know, will I have enough time? Will I have enough time to make the leader do it? There, and there's the rub, because the, the thing that we have not explained yet is any in-work buildings continue in work until mm -hmm. the architects move, even at the end of a century. So just because there are cubes out here doesn't mean they're going to be in the zone of power that you want them to be uh, when you want them to be there. Exactly. Hmm, so I could pop a couple here, but then, interestingly, Lissa will then not want to move her leader because then that would not allow me to put my two cubes in place to uh, compete there, um, which is a kind of interesting situation. Um, this game has gotten far more thinky than our game on Saturday did. Yep. Oh, we're talking through things, that helps. Yeah. I could plop it there. I'm not quite sure what Kenny's plans are doing for his cubes. Probably to uh, score points with him, is my guess. Well, yeah. Because, um, of course, he can put his on his own. But at what point will he turn it, turn it over? That would also give me one extra cube to plop anywhere, which I could put in here. And if he does turn the building over, that would... Um, match the three that Alyssa's got there, so it's a possibility. Um, and well, I haven't got enough to plop it on Edward's spot. When I placed here earlier, did I put a cube somewhere? No, you, got your four, no, you, don't, you, you, don't, you don't put a you cube. You get points. Oh, you, you get just points. get points. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just so points. I, I was missing, I was not following Martin's train of thought correctly. Right. So I can't pop it on my own spot, which is unfortunate. Well, you can. You can. <laughs> no, because I've got three. You cannot. Oh, he does, yeah. Facts. Yes. Um, so I think you should just move your leader. How would moving my leader help? Uh, it would help me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's not saying it's good for you. It's just what he wants you to do. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I know that game. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to pop two here and, yeah. and see how it works out. Four, four points for pink. Um, yeah, uh, three point, two points, I think, right? Someone four points. No, you're, no, you're in three. You're in three. Oh, in th oh, oh Council Citadel. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I get four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I promise I'm not trying to cheat in your benefit. Good. Or for your benefit. I will. Mm. Yeah, Philippe is judging us, of course. He's, there he is. Uh, <laughs> our strat my strategies are usually fairly pathetic, so uh, I'm easily player. judged. And go ahead and activate three. Ah, uh, well. Huh. I just realized there's a train of four. Yep. Mm. Four century over there. Five, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one's a little isolated. It is, but I guarantee people are going to want to do it before they move their architect. Or in order to move their architect, as the case may be. Sure. Um, 
And it's only a single cube, but it hurts me since I'm the only one that's here right now. Although there's going to be, you're, yeah, you're not. Yeah, Martin's so. got Martin's got 105 cubes flowing through. So not necessarily. If I don't flow from here, then so the question reds though, all up in the air. The question is, is that a better area for me to go? At the moment, you're the one that's going to flow through. If Edward would, ever you moves. Five. If Edward moves. It sounds like he's moving. Hmm. That's what I'm hearing. I mean, not necessarily. Yeah. I mean, this one's terrible for yeah, you. Yeah, it's have useless. Any passive right. cubes. This one also not great for you. Correct. This one. Yeah, it's four points. It's four points. I mean, I can join the party up at five, but. Um. Yeah. Realistically, it's either go here or move my architect, and. You don't get three cubes into your hand by moving the architect, so you don't get the benefit of the, cu of the cube infusion. And that's actually a good point there, too. Well, you can move him freely at the beginning of the next go, and uh, then you'd get your three cubes. But the problem with right that, away. though, is I'm really hemmed in, right? Like, I didn't get anything from this because True. of the way you guys went. So I have this spot, and I'm already way behind y'all on largest group. So do I just punt on that? But it is a significant amount of points. Yeah. And I don't think I can punt on it. I mean, I have tried punting on it before in this game, and it did not work out well for me. Yep. Whereas, if I leave there and go here, I know y'all are going to be interested in that. So, you know what? But the other, the other argument for holding, not that I'm trying to persuade you or anything, is that if you're holding there, that allows you to move early in the, in the second century and take whichever of the spots you want. Well, it all depends when it ends. Yeah, I mean, if Edward is the one that ends it by running out of cubes, then he's going to be last anyway. True, but he's in a good position to move. Oh, well, yeah, it was worth a try. No, and I... It was, uh, it was a good effort. I, I, I'll I, be I, honest. I'm not sure that... I, I don't think you're necessarily wrong, but... All right, so that flips, and that'll be a three-star building for what little it's worth, and I, that's the downside that I don't get to activate any workers. But so we'll there's also this, go in there and which... Hmm, surprising. And I figured this is a better area for me because I, I have a chance at these. I have chances, you know, mm -hmm. at these later on. So at least it becomes a reasonable area for me. Hmm. So this is going whole, very heavy on the purples there. No, we are not doing anything for Gen Con outside of uh, regular streams, probably, Steve, not this year. And traditionally, we don't travel to Gen Con. We tend to stream through Gen Con. Um, it's not a convention that we enjoy going to. So more often than not, we don't. And I am going to need to move in order to get some workers out. Because otherwise I don't have workers. Um, and that will set up for the end of the round. It will. And I'm also going to a place that's in the middle of nowhere, but I don't know that I have a great deal of choice since I have no cubes. So. Do that. It's a two star. And I go to the only spot I can, which is here. And get your three cubes. I don't know if I want to get my three cubes. Yep. So the next person that moves their architect triggers the end of the uh, century. Mm -hmm. And I cannot get majority up here. This is too far ahead of me. Right. Unless you go there, and then one of those two is moved, right? Yeah. Wait, no, she may still be too far ahead. I think she's got, she's, she's got a lot. Yeah, she's yeah. got 15. So, yeah. yes, she's, I think, too far ahead. But, of course, I can go here. You can. And that may be what is my plan, because she'll only be able to cascade five, because that's her maximum cascade. 
So at least I'll be able to get something there and, and cascade down. Mm -hmm. But I won't be able to get any more than six because that will be the maximum that I'll be able to plop in. Two is the most that I'll be able to get in there. So, so not as good as it was. Alyssa nicely stymied me. Not that I'm bitter or anything. You don't sound bitter. <laughs> not at all. Really, Ken? Is it really my turn? It is, because I just moved. I, I in, in the game of Quebec, we go I, clockwise. I, I swear to you, I thought it was Alyssa's turn. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm going to go on to bed here. And I'll play these two passive cubes in yellow. So getting first dibs on where which building I want is kind of nice, but I'm looking at the level two buildings or the second century ones and trying to figure out where I would want to go if so. Think that makes sense? No, that doesn't. That does. No, not really. Ugh. <laughs> um, I mean, I could trigger it right now. That's what I'm considering doing. Yeah. I think well, I'm gonna. Would not be thrilled about that, but okay. I, I, think, I was going to if he didn't. Yeah. I think I'm going to. It just, the only other thing other than moving my architect here is contributing one here and then some there. But I just, I don't think it's in my benefit to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and move my architect. So Ugh, this uh, is... Rome. Are you All right. It lets you, it lets you cascade. Oh, you no, the, 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 yeah, it lost me three points. Uh, uh, my heart bleeds for you. All right. <laughs> it so lost me points as well, sunshine. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to say right is. Here. It's done well for it, you, though, Ken, I think, because it set you up for. You can cascade. Oh, no. Lissa's going to cascade from here. It wasn't getting better five. for me. Oh, yes. She gets up to. She pulls in five. Yeah. Yep. All right. So. Because there are no other blue discs out here, that is the end of the first century. So, uh, anybody that chose the yellow, we didn't. I'm not going to bother. Now we score all the zones of power. So, we start here at the Citadel. I'll call it out here. Yep. And six for orange. Three for black. Two for green. And two for pink. Ooh, look at that. Roll level. And the ones that don't cascade go into your passive. Go yes, into your yes. passive. Yep. Three cascade down to the first zone. Yep. We're in the first century, so they go into purple. These go into there. And done. Now go for it. So now we have three for black. One, two, three. Uh, Fifteen, 15 for, for green. Fifteen for green. So many cubes. Twenty-two. Indeed. A whopping six for orange. And uh, 10 for pink. 10 for pink. Thank you for playing. And I thought I had a good plan, but no. Five of Alyssa's cascade down, because that's a maximum. Yep. yep. And then all the others come back to our passive. And here, yep. Ken, I'll call them out. Five for black. Okay. Four for pink. Three for orange. Seven for green. So three will cascade. Okay. There. Thank you. And all of those come home. All right, now we have five for pink. I'm sorry, whoo, mm -hmm. five for black, sorry. Five for orange, three for green, and ties are friendly, so two and two, cascade down. Done. And two and two. We really, and, uh, yeah, all right. And, and then hand. one of each, of that. Look at that. then we'll go <laughs> into active our cube. active, well, I mean, there we it's, go. It's something. It, that is <laughs> something. <laughs> all right, so now uh, 
everybody that's on a level one stays there, and then the second century discs come out, go on all the twos, and all our leaders go, go back. back. Here, let me have some. We all could do this. Indeed. All right, that should be all 11. Then, uh, well, first, the event happens. So a moment on that. And this remains active, so we'll... It will. We'll ju yeah, just move that off to the side. Go ahead, just flip it over. We can read it there. Okay. Or not. Fortification of Quebec against the American invasion, 1775. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Um... So this century, buildings that are completed with only one contribution do not receive a star token, so they don't become part of your uh, little uh, area control network. So it has to have a minimum of two. two. Okay. You need a minimum of two contributions to be able to do something with something. And now I get to finish my turn by placing my architect out here. And I can choose, obviously, any of the level twos that are out. Um... Everybody, everybody but Alyssa, you can make a case to go there. But honestly, I guess Martin's kind of incentivized to go for this one, kind of, because he has that there and that, I guess. But he's probably going to want to stay there. So I don't think he's motivated to go there, which means nobody really should be motivated to go there. Which then means, where should I go? This is the next one that's close to that. There are these over here that are close to that. And the first cascade area is going to be red. So that one actually makes some sense. But so does this one. So that one makes sense early, though. I, I was thinking about that one, too. That one feels like a better like middle of the century. The red one? The, the yellow one. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case, is it? Yeah, I don't know. Um... I guess there are two that are pretty close to completion right, right. now. Right, there are two-thirds of the way done. Yep. And so this one, he's uh, you're motivated to end that now. I am. So going there makes sense to do so mm -hmm. um, because this is worth no points. So, and you know what? Yeah, I'm willing to talk, I talk myself into it. So I will go there and I will activate three passive. Done. Alyssa, I did give you the opportunity. I did, but Martin's also given me the opportunity to uh, take it from there. One cube, and I can do that action. True. Although, do you really want to do that hey, right our action right now? Oh, you certainly do. Yeah. 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 Now, do I want that red one? Yeah, I think we'll take the red one. Purple is, of course, a lot less appealing this century because yes. it is the final instead of the first right. yep. area to be scored. So it's the end of the cascade instead of the beginning. So, yeah, purple's no... no so, it wasn't not, so it was bad for me in two ways because purple's not much fun and also I've got my eye on that spot and uh, now it is no longer an option for me. So that's not much fun. Uh, so, where to go? Well, obviously something close to my current two buildings is kind of tempting. That one, as Edward pointed out. Are you really um, going really to leave your current spot then? Oh yeah. I mean, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's not going to be part of a network, so it's, I'm going to lose a point by moving it now as opposed to waiting for later on. Mm. And I could do it, and that would then put six cubes into my hand. So I think... Fair enough. I think, I think I'll, I'll toss that. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to move. See, this one actually does make sense, though. It does have some sense because it allows people would kind of mm -hmm. want to go for it because it gets cubes out and puts cubes in interesting places. But it's a purple. But and whoever wants to go into purple, whoever grabs this leader, whoever grabs that leader would would appreciate. There you it, go. Right. right? Um, yeah. 
So Drano says, I have to, uh, I've literally never heard of the game. Now that I see it, it seems unlike anything I've ever seen. Uh, and Philip says it was quite popular. It's 10 years to the, almost to the day. Yep. Introduced the, go with that one. the cascading effect as well as the... Uh, turns over. I don't put a marker on it, but I do take three cubes into my hand. And see, I was able to politic my way away from the yellow one there. <laughs> well, I think that, I mean, it's right next to my another yeah. one, so I think it, it is quite a good spot for me to grab, assuming it gets developed, of course. It, this is not necessarily Philippe, the best spot. If you're here for the end of the stream, ask that question at the end of the game, and we'll answer it then, if you're going to be around. Do that. And score a two-star. I'm surprised you didn't. Oh, you know, I forgot I could do that. You mind if I take I have back? zero qualms with that. <laughs> All right. And I do still get the three activated cubes, You right? do. Yeah. Oh, great. No downside. Yeah, they, uh, I mean, other than you're helping me complete a building, you're putting cubes in yellow, right? Like, that's... Yeah. But yellow is the second, yellow is the second spot. Right. Yellow is good. I like mm. yellow. I thought so. Um... So I think I have a ton of cubes, so I am not motivated to worry about getting. So I think I will take the red leader, please, the mm. military leader, which allows me to choose where my cubes are going to go now. Unfortunately, it was a little late on that one, but yeah. So the question that Philippe asked, uh, what are your opinion on the event cards every century? They were a late edition, and I wasn't 100% sure about them. So chew on that. Yeah, yeah. we'll uh, talk about that at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Citadel! Here we go. Okay. Martin? Always good to get into the Citadel. Because it always cascades, Always right? good to get into Always leads things. From my as well. Dear friends. And similarly, into the Citadel. Let's see. I think we'll go here. Contribute up there. I'll join the party. It's a good party. Yeah, and it motivates you to go there again. Um, <laughs> it's all about helping you out. Uh, so sit it out. Sorry. All right, there we go. It's a team game. Right? Yep, mm. yep, yep. I will take the religious leader this time. Yeah, that's a good one. It is indeed. And that because Edward took one, I get to activate one cube. Yeah, these were the only two I was considering at the beginning of of when I was taking the leader. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to go for two more into that red spot, and that will allow me to place two. And I think I'll pop them into the yellow is more appealing than the purple, so that's where I'll go. Okay. I don't have to hurry overly on leaders. I don't think I'll go here. Hmm. And two more there. I did not. I really thought you were going to go on to mine. I will. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I mean, I absolutely will. Just oh, I have no doubt. Not this turn. Clearly. Uh. We I mean, have plenty of cubes. What are you worried about? I kind of had plans this turn. I'm sure Alyssa will be willing to help you out on her turn. <sighs> I'm likely to go there. <laughs> Seems like a good choice for me. So I guess I'm going to have to contribute to pink. I mean, there's nothing else really that I can do. We made that sound as if it was such a struggle. It was. It wasn't what I wanted to do. 
So grab two passive, one goes to the citadel. One goes to anything other than the citadel. Which it always does. Um, so it starts in red, but looking at this, there, five, four, six, yeah. So these will go to red. Mm -hmm. So what the spot, uh, what this does is allow you to move your architect. That was this one, right? Yep. And it was three. And I'm sure you won't forget since you have no cubes, but don't forget to activate three cubes. I would have realized <laughs> when I went to use them next That's turn. exactly like when somebody, I was like, I want to go, wait, I oh, I should have, yes. So. Yep. All right, Martin. Hmm. So I don't really want to move my pink architect yet. I'm hoping that I, I think I do want to try and get that building up to a level that I'm able to move it. So if I don't want to move it, and I've only got one cube, my options are pretty limited. None of the spots are one cube spots, so I can't contribute anywhere. You could place it. Which hoping like, I could place it in a in a uh, zone of power. Yep, but I'm or not, take a leader. Or I could take a leader, and now taking a leader is now feeling it. That might be a good <laughs> stall, stall, stall. stall. <laughs> and I, I'm going to plop three in the citadel. And since there are two leaders out, I get to activate two, which is also yep. quite nice. Bring your leader up top, please. Yep, we'll do. That's I didn't really like your options. Annoying. Because now the right thing for me to do is take the leader that gives me points for moving. That means it's, it's another turn where I don't get to move my own leader. It's still probably the right thing to do, though. I'll take well, if I'll you take do, it's not going to be there. That's okay. I get to activate three, so. Uh, you have five cubes. You can wait if you want to wait. Yeah. I mean, no one else is moving this turn, but I certainly am. Yeah, fair. And I'm currently in three zones, so it is four points. Yeah. And I don't have to worry about the color. And, however, if I go here, that gets me two more cubes out, and I think I would rather do that. So there, Citadel, Rojo. All right, Martin. Oh, hmm. your stalling worked. My stalling worked to treat. Of course, I've now also got cubes, so I could also put them somewhere. So do I prefer that over the over the over the stall, where could I go? Well, I mean, if a solid could go there, and that would allow me to move my leader and put two of my cubes into yellow, um, which is, I think, that has definitely got to be better than just moving my leader. It certainly is. Um, it may even be strictly better. Um, I can't go to that one. This one would give me some points, which would be nice. Points are always good, but I'm not. I feel it would be better to do that and sort of two in yellow and move my leader is, is nicely appealing. You get to choose where you want your greens to go. Not so purple. 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 No, no, no purple. I don't know. He has that. I, I, I have, have it. Oh, sorry. No, I'm sorry. You have the choice of where to go. I'm completely lo lost here. Yeah, red seems. Red seems like a good choice. spot. That goes purple. That flips over. It's a three star. And yeah, it is time to go here, I think. And this, oh, not it's yet. Fall. Yep. Not yet. So I'll go up to that blue. Um, Activate your three if you didn't, Martin. Oh, yes, good point. Thank you for reminding me. That's a three star for me. Because of my power, I score four points. This blue is meant to go in red. Oh, it's, 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 I will I will keep them there for now. Okay. 
I figured. And I get to activate three. Huh. Uh, oh, no. Uh, I'm just looking to see what the uh, <laughs> strength amounts are. We can see what the levels are. You know what? Since it was just my last turn, those three I'm not going to put there. I'm going to put them here. Then I'm going to take my turn and go there. Mm. So these all go to yellow. That was there. And I will activate my three workers. Done. I will just go here and I will score four points. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they, well, the thing with the table talk here, I mean, there's some that's going on, but it's we're, we're, we're also deep in thought right now as to trying to maximize turns and actions. Martin, you know it's you, right? Yes, I know it's me. And Just I'm wanted to make sure we didn't Martin. run into a Ken situation. <laughs> so, one in the blue would allow me to do any blue action, which actually is, would be interesting because it would allow me to bump this building up. Yep. I'm not sure I want to do that. Um, I don't want to go on my own because um, I don't get to use a special power, so it's kind of uninteresting to me. Um, this one would get me some points, which is always good. But I think putting a couple of cubes into red out my reserve would actually be quite appealing. Yes, indeed. Also, again, I'm going to be fighting the person with the superpower, but, you know, you do what you can. We can all just agree to tie, right? We could. We could. And do we trust each other? That's the question. No. Yeah, well, there we are. That's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I did take these two from here, right? I don't know. I think so. That's why I cover mine, so yeah. I can't make that mistake. Peanut Gallery? Yeah, Peanut Gallery. Did I take all four from here, or did I take two from here? Uh... It's not available. Okay. So I think we wait on that. Yeah. There is one left in there. Done. I have to move them out of cubes. As well. And you've taken a leader, yep. So we'll go over here. That's three blank buildings, which I'm surprised at. All being chosen by people, I'm yeah. saying, right? Yeah. Well, there's going to be some more blank buildings. Because I'm going to go in here for red. And pop a cube into what well, could be red or blue. Four are going to go in here, which I think is going to be enough to ensure the majority. Because um, this is it. Right, so I'm out of cubes. I'm ending, I'm ending the, the, oh, uh, what if, the whatever. Oh, well, I didn't see that. So, yeah, and I've got Cascade on there from the yep, yep. Citadel. Well done. So, I've, so, in which case, I might as well put it in blue, I guess, because I don't think it's at any point putting it in red. Looks yeah, nice. I didn't even see that. All right, so... So that, can you owe yourself to these? Oh, no, actually, no, because, of course, this isn't coming off. So, no, but I've still got the majority. You got it, Martin. And yeah, I've got yeah, it from there, yeah, yeah, so it's all right. Cool. Oh, Thanks, Christopher. No, I'm still thinking two are going to go in there. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You win there. Nine. 
Now, if I put one in here, then it cascades one oh, more, doesn't it? Fair, yeah, fair, yeah, that's right. yeah. So that's yeah. better. All right, so that's the end of the round because, go ahead and move that, because Martin has and no cubes. Cubeless. There we go. So here's what's going to happen. This is going to go away. That will go away. Wow. Okay. Did not anticipate that. Wow. Okay. So we uh, we get into scoring. So here we go. Five for pink. Five for pink. 26. Three for green. Four for orange. Okay. Two cascade into red because red is the dominant one yep. in this century. Ten for pink. Uh, six for black, four for green. You got green. One, two, three, four, and six for duck l'orange. And we've already cascaded the five. Three for orange, six for black, three for green. Can't reach it. One, two, yeah. And what is that? Nine. Well done, Martin. On Nine the, for on pink. The ship. Okay. Yep. To 45. Four will cascade, which means six for pink and two for there. And then. Three back to active. Three into three your hand. cascade. Oh, the purple scoring. I forgot yep. that there's more. Yeah. Oh, gross. So that's two for green, two for l'orange, and five for pink. And two get, two into get your back hand. into my hand. They did good work, those, those workers. They worked hard. Lots wow. of cascading. That was... Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the second event is dead. Uh, the third event now, go for it, is, let's see, War of 1812 against the U.S. Players only activate two workers when they move their architect now this, this year. Oh, oh, that's, that's nice. Harsh. And leader's back. Yep. Wow, that sucked. That was a massive year for, or century for Martin. Uh, so that was Martin's turn, clearly. Mm. Ken, do something amazing. Now, I will say it's kind of nice that all these go there. So at least there, there's that. Yep, there is that. <laughs> and Martin won't get a chance to uh, take a leader before that comes into play. So at least there's that. <laughs> you are very certain of this, Edward. <laughs> I am... Philippe says, fun fact, first version didn't have a max of five wait, cascading. Wait, wait. Blue cubes? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, idea. yeah. Yeah, go ahead and spread, oh, yes. spread the love here. Third century. Yep. All right. Indulge me. Uh, there should be 11 fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Okay. All right. Just making sure. That's uh, just making sure. May have had something happen on Saturday. May have. Go there. <laughs> Put two in the Uh. Only one cube to improve one of your star ratings. Just saying. But when all you have are threes. I guess I do have a two there, but I don't care about that one. Um, Heard that quite a bit, Christopher, because my wife's Canadian. Oh. I have a conundrum, so a moment. Um, mm -hmm. You're so sure that you're moving it just 30 seconds ago. Yeah, well, <laughs> things have changed. Uh, all right. There, there, no. Yeah, no, change of plans. It's 
stack them up on yellow, eh? Well, yellow is the first that cascades, and Alyssa uh, did exactly what I anticipated. So this is going to going as expected. So there's yeah. that, and now I I expect Martin's going to move that. Yeah, I mean it's a free three cubes. Why would you not? Hmm. Or do I uh, do something else, like grab a leader? Do I want a leader? I mean, I, at this point, I don't care what you do. I just, that, that, that was the right thing for me to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to move. All right, I got it. Because I think I really do want this spot. But that was the case as well. Three stars. Three stars. Activate two, not three. Two. Yeah, activate uh, two. I yes. got to remember, it's only duh. I support this, Ken? If you want to load up in yellow, this is clearly the place to be. And activate two. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised, Alyssa, that you did that and didn't come here. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have, but... Again, like, nothing's changed. Yeah. If you want to put yeah. two down, yeah. I I'm think. Gonna... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think that's... I think that's... I just missed that you went there. I yeah. should have... I should have... I should have announced, Hey! We're open for business! Yeah. You want to move your architects? <laughs> come to yellow. Remind me what this one does again. That lets you place on another one. If you uh, contribute two, to a second building. Contribute to a second building. Just from, not from the passive. Same. Yes, right. from passive. Um, not from passive, but it can be your own. This is from passive. So you yes. play two from here and then you play it whatever. Can be your own. Uh, which might be useful if you want to. Um, yeah, it's quite set useful. Yourself up for a move. Hmm. This could be tempting. Actually, I kind of think this is a good moment to go here and. Use the increase your power mm. thingy to knock this up to a three star. All right, Ken. Since that's very likely to be my little yeah, network. You don't want to go here to do that? Yeah, I do want to go there. You're right. I'm just, just, just saying. It's very friendly of you. All right, so these will go to blue. Yeah, it's a two star, right? Yep. Yeah, I will go here. Oh, you hateful, hateful person. I really didn't think there was any way you would go there. I thought you would come over to those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll give a lot of things. Well, I guarantee I'm going to fight you like hell for that, to block you then. Okay. That was mean. Was it? I really didn't think. But there's a what Glory I to did, Rome board behind yeah, you. Yeah, Glory to Rome, because <laughs> I thought that by my doing that, I kind of made the decision for y'all, mm. and uh, clearly I was wrong. Think again. Petty, <laughs> petty, petty. <laughs> petty. Nah. Um, you know, that's not a terrible thing there. Um, I think that just makes the most sense. No one's going to be moving their architect for a while, so I'll go ahead and take care of it for y'all. I'll go ahead and put two there, which allows me to contribute to one other building 
from the passive. There we go. All right. Done. I'll take a leader. I'll take the economic leader. Which puts a second architect for you, and that will automatically complete at the end of the century. Mm. I'll scoop those back up if you wouldn't. No, you're yours in because oh. your hand's off screen. There you go. Good. Interesting. <laughs> I've lost friends with that move, what Ken just did. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> that was a perfectly friendly play. Yeah. <laughs> Interestingly, no one wanted the, arch the uh, extra architect before, and I was thinking, hmm, I, was, my, I could see a use for that architect myself. Yeah. So it was a bit annoying, but uh, unless I took it. Oh, well. No big deal, I guess. Um, but what new next move to do? I've got three cubes. So the double contributions not so helpful unless I got something else to contribute that I could do, and they're all. It comes from passive. Two, two. Oh, it's two. To, it's two to this, and then the second contribution comes from passive. So, oh, okay. Oh, it comes from passive. Oh, okay, so well, that makes it much more appealing. I mean, negotiation. I mean, can change most any game, depending yeah, I on, think on then the group. two in there, and then two from passive into my own. Hmm. Okay, there, yeah, makes sense. Because you're not getting the power anyway, so exactly. Well. Try this. Yeah, I don't see a reason not to. But the question is where now? I mean, that's the obvious one. Uh, Martin probably likes that because it only requires one cube. It helps myself. Yeah, I'm good with that. So let's go ahead. There, all these roll over. I'll clean those up in a minute. There, and activate two. Mm -hmm. So the second architect, the yellow is actually green, and then activate two. Yep. I will now move this. Two pinks in there, two blacks in there, to that highly popular red spot, and that's a two what? star. Oh, would the, yes, there were two on there, weren't there? So um, two stars, two stars. I'll find two and stars. And activate two. After activate that. two. And then place right there. In case it wasn't immediately obvious that I was desperate to do that. Yep. <clears throat> that sets me up now for a nice little Death cluster little here. Village. Yep. With a lot of. And these three star buildings, if they're on their own, they score three points, but if they're in my biggest cluster, they score six. Yep. That is a non trivial amount of points. So I'm going to go here. And I will play one there. Oops. And then move to there. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I could make a case for it. Um I don't know. I don't know where to contribute. I don't have 
a good reason to take a leader at this point. That would get five out. Okay. I will go two there, which then I will get three there. Done. You're going to have a lot of cubes on yellow, Redwood. I'm aware. But he has a bunch that are going to cascade. Uh, yep, that's true. Hmm. So where are you going? I assume contribute. Nope. No. 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 Right. I think I'm going to. Uh, you have your cubes there and move again. So that was two. So it will be a. Three star. And I might as well go. Oh, do I want to go there? Uh, actually. Do you remember how many cubes were on here? He says Two of each. Could, yeah. Actually, I'm going to revert. That's not too painful for everybody. I'm going to take the purple leader, religious leader. All right. And okay. I'll get, you to get one. one cube for that. Okay. So that makes my just a little easier because I'll take the citadel uh, leader. Okay. Place three passives in and also activate two, right? Yeah, because two people have taken yeah. leaders. Well, that worked out really well because that's the one I wanted and I'll activate three. I, I mean, I knew that was the one you wanted. That's why. I yep. Let, let and that's why I, I, I was okay as long as I, you know, obviously I assumed Alyssa was going to move that. I wanted to be able to figure out, you know, to manipulate where people go. That's why I was disappointed that Martin was clearing that out. But clearly Alyssa's going to hold them hostage currently. All right, Martin. Okay. Now, so I now I will do what I was going to do before, which is uh, I'm really given up on fighting over yellow cascades, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, I am, that makes that a nice three star, and I'm going here. And the reason I wanted to hesitate here, because I'm, that is a much more interesting place to me if I've got this action. Mm. And I activate two. Okay. Oh, it is actually, well, well, I've got two, two stars. We actually paid attention. Has anybody, nobody's done the... I have not. I this, have get, this is going to score in place no matter what, right? Yes. At the end of the round. Yes. It scores. Can I place an active and a passive as part of the action? Do uh, what now? I don't think... S I don't know. Because he doesn't have enough passive to place where he wants to place. I right. believe you can. That that's a rare I like, thing. I think uh, you can pretty much always use an active as a passive, if I remember. I right. believe you can. Oh, but not the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The competition. Looking up in the rules, or the designer speaking. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't make sense that you could take it out of hand, but that's not a rule. I don't see it called out like where I would think it would be. And that is yellow. Let me see. I would say no. Um, that one, it's the yellow uh, being able to contribute, right? Yep. Um, it's uh, passive workers. And it's bolded that it's passive workers. If you don't have enough you do, uh, to contribute to a building, you do not get to benefit from this action. You don't yeah. get to place well, any I could, workers. So oh. I could contribute somewhere else, obviously. Yeah, there's a right. one over there. Yeah, there's no, it's so the question, the question the Philippe, was whether he could use his passive workers or his active, uh, his active workers. workers. A mix yeah. of that because he doesn't have any passive workers. Yeah. So. And uh, Edward found the rule. 
It's very, very, very bolded, very clear. Oh, there you go. And, Chris, and Christopher's on the ball, as usual. So you can. You may take them from your hand. Yeah, okay, you can. Oh, okay. okay. Christopher's there. He has spoken. All right. Thank you, Christopher. Yes, uh, Christopher has our treasure on this, uh, both for keeping moderation going uh, very oh, rapidly and also chance, for uh, finding rules, to. issues, and spotting the many times that we goof on the screen. Um... So Alyssa and I get one turn left. And Philippe confirms Christopher's uh, line. Good. Yeah, I guess the bolding of passive was to stress the fact that it, you were able to take them from the passive. You're pink, right, Martin? I am indeed. Pink and proud of it. Well. Make sure that I do no worse than Ty. And I will contribute. Um, so I'm going to get first dibs on a level four building. Assuming Ken ends it. I mean, I'm assuming he is. So where do I want to place it? And you know what? That's my last. I'll go there. Done. Yep. Force Alyssa's hand. Yep. Yep. Not great because I don't get the action because right, it's, it's yours. Yep. But yep. exactly. But I need a tie, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I didn't want to do something then just have you plop one down here, and I couldn't take that rest. This is an awfully nice action, Mark. Yeah, I'm sure it is, but I really want this action. Uh, fair enough. Because that way I get to use the yes, bump up a building, and I can, one of my buildings in my cluster can be bumped up. But Martin is running away with this. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to end it. I'm going to move here. Um, hmm. uh, and among other things, that allows me to score the goal, which is eight points. Go and put it. Uh, All right, don't. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just purple. Yep, to 48. Where's your third? I have two of three different colors. Yeah. Two. 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 Oh, I didn't see it. I was missing the one all the yeah. way down here. Which maybe if we use your little star marker, put it on I there. probably won't run there. out of star markers. Probably that would not. nicely indicate that you were first to get there. That's a little memory. There we go. Um, yeah, I was more interested in getting a cluster than trying to go after the uh, eight points. Which may be a mistake, but may not be. Because I have three yellows, two purples. I could have tried to go for a second red maybe somewhere, but I then didn't think in the end it was worth it. Oh my gosh, Philippe says he's colorblind, so the game has way too many uh -huh. colors. <laughs> so... Yeah. Yeah, it is definitely uh, colorful. That. This one. that might not be a terrible idea. Give it, um, or where do I contribute? Hmm. So you guys can continue your. your it team. doesn't hurt you. Your it does not hurt cascade. me. Yeah. But I will go here, which lets me take one passive at the Citadel and one passive here. Uh. That's mean. That's a pretty good play. Uh, I didn't see that. Oh well. Well, uh, I have a building to bump up, so I might as well just do that. Whoops. Bump up. That's the one direction I want to go. Yeah, Martin's crushing. Oh, right but yeah. yeah. yeah well, so you say. I'm yeah. not. It's, uh, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. So I will also go there and. There we go. Every once in a while, it's the right one. Yeah. The last, the last two times you said I was crushing, and I came in about third each time. So. Doesn't. 
Edward saying I'm crushing it is usually a right, yeah. that that was that crushed me. So All right, that so goes, that scores. This scores. Yep. This comes over here. This was three. Yep. All right, Citadel. One for green. Ten. Ten for black. Five come over. Five go away. All right, Alyssa, if you'll move them for me. Eleven for black. Uh, Thirteen. I got it. Uh, there. And sadly, that 14. was wasted. Yep. And 14 for Alyssa. So Ooh, 63. So 1, 16, 14. And I would have tied, and, but yeah, that was mean. All right. So 6 for green, 1 for orange, 1 for pink. Three cascade. 3 for green. Two for black, one cascades, one for green, four for black, and what is that? Six for pink. Yep. Three, four, five, six, and three into your hand. Into my hand. Thank you. All right, uh, buildings dead and dead. Let's go back. And then the four has come out. Well, they're all in a row here, nearly. There, 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 and there. And this is a four, right? Yes. And the new event. Yeah. Well, you said I was crushing it. I'm a good way behind. Mm, yeah, but that the final scoring is. That, that, yeah, it's a nice little cluster. Quebec so. City's 400th anniversary. At the beginning of the scoring round, players who do not have at least one worker in each of the four zones of power cannot cascade. Ooh. Ooh. So everything but the Citadel, you must have. Yeah, you, you have to get out there. Uh, interesting. interesting. To cascade at all. Oh, wow. and uh, leader's back. Oh, yep. Put the guy on it. There we go. Uh, it's the first one. I hear you, but no. I'm gonna move my architect. It's not this, actually this, the first one. this is the first one. That's but, the third one. Well, but the blue is also available. Right? That there you yeah. go. Yeah, I think. Yep. Not going to pull, yeah. belabor anything because I clearly am way out of the running here. Um, two Ken doesn't have any. There. Yeah, let's go mano y mano there. Let's Into the reds. And did you get your three? I did not. I'm just being petty and hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. But let's face it, you and I aren't winning. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're very temporary. Oh. Though. Three possible places to move, although that blue space is really unappealing in terms of it. Well, actually, no, because I've got plenty yeah, of Mark, cubes. You could, that would you could be quite just, nice. You, you could, and could it helps go, the guy who's in last. I could move my leader. Actually, I'm going to take a leader. I'm going to take the military leader. I think the military leader is going to be Up particularly above. useful if we've got to get our cubes one in each spot. Bring your cubes up, please. There you go. Thank you. Well, that does allow me a little leeway. Because now if I take a leader, I at least activate one, one cube. <laughs> uh, and the leader I'll take is actually the economic leader, because that'll let me ac activate more cubes. So. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, hey, my, my favorite opponent has entered the chat. Hey, Cindy. 
Um, hello. They think I'm doing well, dear, but I'm not sure that I am. I am sure that you are. I feel pretty confident about this. Yeah. The last time they said that, it was not pretty. I, I, I feel guilty because I was the recipient of that when it was, I was the one who also said that. That's um, true. Uh, I have three or more. I do, so four points. Hold one, up. two, three, four. Might as well milk it. That you're starting your climb to the top. Woo here we go. <laughs> choo choo. All aboard. <laughs> Yes, I am still bitter about the uh, the battle in, in Oath, although we are rolling that back yeah, a little roll bit. We, yeah, of course. So. But I was, oh, I was, oh, I was bitter. Thank you. Red? You can put, you can put two, even. <laughs> okay. You can. Oh, you are so allowed to. I am allowed yeah. to put two. Yeah, there well, you go. In fact, you must, I would argue. <laughs> yeah, All two. right. Martin? Yeah, well, I can really... Don't have to worry about color placement, which is nice since I've taken the military leader. Um, so I can think about where I might want to uh, put things. And actually, the idea of four cheap points is quite appealing. So yeah, I'll take the four points. Four for uh, pink, pink. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. Activate some cubes. That was my other option, was to have gone there. Oh well. It's the only spot that will allow me to expand my tiny empire. Okay. <laughs> tiny <laughs> empire. Well, there's this also, Martin. I guess. Yes, that's true. I could go there. Of course, anybody can create quite an empire by just. All right, so doing that here, I'm just going to go ahead and ask. Y'all aren't in position for that second place right now where your workers are, where your architects are, are, are you? I'm just trying to see, because I see that, like, Alyssa's got two yellow. I am not. Two red, and a purple and a blue, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, and then Martin has, Martin has a ton of yellow. yellow. Two purple. Two purple, a, a red, and a blue. And a blue. Yeah, so blue I'm not in a rush to do that because exactly. Ken obviously can't. That's why I went there, by the way, right. Ken, because I needed a red. Yeah, I hear you. Um, and it added to mine. Yeah. So it just, that's yeah, the truth. I mean, but it, it sounds better if I was being petter, petty and yeah. bitter. <laughs> um, all right, cool. So in that case, I don't need to rush is my point. And I might as well, I mean, it's, it's hard to beat four points. I support this. I reckon you do. Moving on. How far will she move before somebody decides to stop her? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> right? Yep, thank you. Mm -hmm. And you activated three. I did. Right? Okay. Yeah, the unfortunate part was losing this, because now mm -hmm. my, that, that, those are pretty much dead in the water, unless you let me sit here and run all the way up there, that seems unlikely. Yeah, Philippe <laughs> says one of my favorite features of the game is that some building from a previous century finishes the current century. So annoying getting cubes in a zone where it just became the weakest zone. <laughs> it, it, it is quite annoying, Philippe. It's very well, very well done. I will say that it makes that spot very, very valuable then. Which allows you to move two cubes from yeah. anyone yeah. to mm. anyone. So yeah, yeah. That, that was a good one uh, where Melissa used it. So now I'm thinking maybe a good moment to move the architect. And I'm actually wondering that a bit of a list of blocking might be necessary. Clean those up. She's got Cute. quite a nice little run she could do there. Well, if somebody besides me wants to play Sheriff, I'm always in favor of that choice. So he's going to blue. What, what have you got your finger on there? Other than Just yours, reminding you where it goes. All right, oh, that's it. That, that works. Remember, though, Martin, you, yours can go wherever you like. Oh yes, that's Three true. Star. Let so you me had, you uh, had two. You uh, pick two. So I can figure Let me that put out afterwards. Over. Yep. So yeah. So do I want to go from that spot would gain me six points, or this spot that would stop Alyssa gaining <laughs> points unless somebody else goes there first? Well, it's a purple spot that I actually. Well, I'm not fancy, helping you. So. <laughs> Activate three workers. I'd say sorry, but you know what You're I mean. Not. And figure out where the which where, so which where do I want to put the two? Okay. So okay. And don't don't first forget, cascade don't begins forget. in blue. Go there and 
it. Do I want to fight for the blue, or do I want to kind of put a kind of action into purple? Well, mm. uh, especially since I'm, uh, we've got to get in all four, so yeah, I might as well drop a couple into purple, I think. I'm going to need to at some point, and I might need to start now. Let's go. Um, I mean, potentially. There's also the Citadel. All, all good ones. I mean, not, not, no kidding here. Um, the problem is, oh, reds, yeah, yeah, blue, yeah. All right, all right. Um, all right. Team player. I would take three, but I knew that. Done. I'm going to take the religious leader and activate two. Hmm. I want to think about where I want to go. I think I want to get three cubes on the board and two into the citadel. Okay, I think I'm now motivated to move over here. Yeah, that was the downside, of course, of me blocking Alyssa. I would end up having my spot taken, but... Decide where you'd like to go there. Right, yeah. Those three, I think, can go purple. Activate three. Thank you. Gonna mm -hmm. Aim a little bit at the second the game over here, one in the oh, Cascade rather than the sure. first one. Okay. Um, Unless this fills up, in which case I can't... Well, either way. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that, but... Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. So I will go ahead. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I will go to there, which grabs a point. Slow but steady. One into my hand. And, oh, I'm already everywhere, aren't I? Okay. Mm hmm I'm like American Express. Maybe where you want to be? Yeah. That's an old commercial. Yeah, it's show my age. Yeah. Okay. We'll go here. And that lets me throw two over. From the power? Yeah, yeah, but not from your hand. Oh, not from my hand. I mean, you can. Apparently it is allowed. Mm. But I cannot imagine why you would want to. Or actually, I might as well. This is also red and... Well, it's the same finished. thing, but it's meaner to Ken is basically what that comes out to. And right. then I mean, but this will, this will fin oh, this yeah, is you don't, guaranteed to finish. Facts. Whereas Ken's may or may not by end game. Also facts. Mm. Okay, I think I'm going to plop one on here. Which allows you to do any yellow, which I'm you're doing my, this I'm one. actually going to move my architect. Okay. So that will flip Purple. that. Got it. For one point. And where am I going to whiz over to? Oh, I didn't you, see... If you whiz over to blue, I'll happily... Uh, yeah. yeah, I didn't see that. Hmm? If you was over to blue, I'll happily patronize what? your establishment. Yeah, I'm uh, thinking that it might be it might be slightly more interesting to go here. Hmm. All right. Okay. Actually, oh no, take that back. Don't do it. Really? There. That's just petty and mean. Exactly. How can I resist? You knew. You, I mean, I, I don't know if you knew. I knew. <laughs> 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 
I was thinking, oh, that's good. That kind of cools it makes think Ken's thing. Oh, Ken's got a much bigger one up there. I should stop that. Oh, and he gets Edward as well. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> Bonus points. Oh, I really missed that. Yeah, boy. Yeah, but Ken's up here, and I think it's more directed at. <laughs> I think I think getting you is just. Well, I was going there as soon as I this turn. I was I was actually I have one cube. I was go just I was going there to take that to move that to go there. Not now. Nope. Oh no! Activate three workers. Don't think I did that before. Fairly sure I didn't. <sighs> Brutal. Well, hold on. Am I motivated? I only have one cube. That is you, so give me one second. I can't go anywhere, right? All y'all... No. That was just mean and spiteful, man. Not that I'm surprised, mind you. Just... I'm bitter. Just a little disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> that tickled a bit. Um... I mean, I know I'm out of it anyway, so I'll let you all fight over it. Activate three. Done. <laughs> Philippe, that ain't mean. That's the spirit of the game. It is a game that uh, encourages such behavior. Three. Three. Wow, they're watching that like a hawk, weren't they? <laughs> three! Ah! <laughs> Oh, I do exactly the same. Uh, oh, he doesn't have, really, I don't he really doesn't have, have anything any. to, to put out, but you know. It's only I'll one just, extra point for me. I know, but hey, you know, I'll get three cubes into the game. That was gross. Rough life. <laughs> that was gross. Well, I mean, I figure you're joining the party. I certainly am. And it's one of these two. Maybe this one's the right one. Nope, of course not. All right, here we go. If they had, you know, if they had three-sided cardboard components, that that'd would be, be that'd be helpful. <laughs> right? uh, I'll activate three and just mosey on down. Um, yeah, my three I choose, so I may not put them there. All right. I'm just saying, I'm giving you people opportunity. Here. I've got to decide where I'm going to put these three. So I'm not in red yet, so I could put them there. How many P cubes have people got? People have still got plenty of cubes. I think we'll get at least one more architect move before we're done. So I'll pop them in purple. All right, listen. That puts me in all four. Not that that seemed difficult challenge for everybody else, because everybody's yeah, in everybody all four. four. I was thinking, oh, that military card's going to be really helpful to make sure I get in all four, but everybody else was able to do it easily without it. Yeah, activate three. Martin, you're up. Yeah. So I could finish the game by moving. Not quite. No. It's when they, there are oh, no, no and there's Oh, no, because yes. there's still... You cannot. I would, I would set up. Uh, finishing the game by moving. Do I want to do that? Is it advantageous for me to try and push the pace? I reckon the answer is yes. Uh, possibly. Or do I want to plop three cubes onto a space of my choice? They should have gone to blue, not purple. Where can you do that? Which cubes? Oh, these. Oh. Okay. So there was a Anyone green remember? and a black, right? Yep. But I think there was also... And, and Martin's. And Martin's. And Martin's. 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 Yeah, yeah, it was all of y'all's. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good call. All right. Thanks, Seth. Yeah. Thank you, Seth. Thank you. Ah, so... Oops. i putting three cubes out now, I think, would be good, because then I could get those cubes into a reasonable scoring position. 
Yeah, I think I like three cubes. So that goes there. And then that allows me to take the passive one, put one anywhere, and move two. Which is interesting. Um, hmm, actually, uh, has it got to be two from the same place? Question for somebody who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. They do. They do. Yes. Okay. From one from, to from one. From one location to one location, yeah. And they can be anywhere, including the Citadel. Yep. We don't have to be in the Citadel for scoring, right? That's right. That's correct. So maybe I stick one there and put two here. Mm. I'm not fighting for blue, but I want to be ready for purple. Yeah, you certainly are that. Well, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I actually must move one of my guys. Is that true? Oh, you're right. I could place this. You could place sure. that in stone. Mm. Just, just hope. Just hope somebody <laughs> places. But I think what I'll do instead is go here. I could move only one if I want. Yeah, but, uh, moving the two, I think, works. Mind you, yeah, I suppose that would allow me to put one anywhere else. But I think I'm happy. One, two, three. Leader. As soon as somebody took that, that was my move. I mm. had to. Yep. Done. Go in there because that one will actually finish. And that lets me, I'm in more than three zones. So four, I points. four points. Martin, could end it. Any of us can end it just by moving their architect. Yeah. Enjoy your last turn, Martin. I think I should. Just uh, okay. If he didn't, I was going to, because it wasn't getting better for me. All right. So the, All right. This finishes. So Ken, drop a one in there. Oof, then we go into the normal final score or scoring. So six for orange, two for pink, and three of orange cascade down. Thank you. All right, one for pink. Oops, sorry. Six for black. Two, four, six. Uh, was that seven for green? Seven for both of us. Okay. One, two, three, and seven. Six. Three each, cascade. Four for green. One for black. Six, Six for, for orange. orange. Ten for pink. Five pink cascade. Six for pink. Three for orange. Four for black. Four for green. Five for pink. Hand. One for black, one for green. Four for orange. Not pretty. All right. So then, for final scoring, uh, just make sure. Yeah. Okay. One point for every worker on an incomplete building. So out here. So three for pink, and go ahead and take those off the board, please. One point for every two workers in your hand, so two and a half points for orange, please. Two. And two for green. And half for me. Round it down. All right. So now, largest group. So we'll start at the back. Uh, so this clearly is my largest group. And these count the, uh, the, 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 the numerical points. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five. That's six. Uh, 30. They're all sixes. There's five of them. That's 30. And then anything that isn't those, so that, 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 sorry, uh, count point, one point per stars. So 30, that's 33, 36, 38. Leader in the clubhouse. To 127. Just wanted to be able to say that once. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Black, you're up. Oh, yeah, it's, it's less than 127 for me. So it's 21. 24, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 for black. So, 119? Mm-hmm. Like I said, you and I weren't winning. Yeah. 
Uh, I guess Martin. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be 42. 42 plus... And 44, 44 from 94, so 138. You're not really that far off, Edward. Yeah. And then Alyssa. I think he's got me, but I've got 36, 39, 41. 41, 36. 136. Ooh. Always. Every, and that, time, every time I'm one stream. Yeah. <laughs> Even dominant species. Really? I lost by one point. <laughs> well, everybody did. Here. Yeah, right. Uh, so Martin wins 138, Alyssa 136. Uh, yours truly 127. Plus right. eight your bonus black, Philippe. But what? I think we scored. Did we score his bonus? Oh. Yeah, we, yeah, scored, we, did. we scored it when it happened. Oh, hold did, on. Did somebody score four? Did yeah. somebody score four? Hold on. One, two, three, four. Because yeah, I, I, I got that, that, yeah, that. Yeah, I did get it. So there you go. 131. Closer than I thought. Not going to lie. Yeah. Really closer than I thought. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, start on that side of the screen. Um, thoughts on Quebec? Well, I uh, last time I commented this, I said if you'd have told me this was uh, designed by Rainer Knizia in his prime, I would totally believe you. And that, for it's me, one of the is high praise. Compliments, yeah, yeah. That market that I, gets, yeah. I don't toss that praise out lightly, and this is a this is really just a lovely game. Um, there's just so much interesting deciding between: do I put my cubes out? Where do I put them? Mm -hmm. Can I kind of aim them at particular places by getting them out there? Um, I've got to try and get my districts and pull them together. It was actually, I took a hint from Pierre or Philippe, who said it's good to take one century where you just ignore the cubes and focus on your little cluster. And I kind of was thinking I was going to do that anyway because of the way the, the second and third century was lined up in mm -hmm. here. Um, but that just confirmed that that was uh, something to try. It clearly worked okay. Yeah. Um, and that cascade thing is just so cool because you just don't see it anywhere else. But when you can get a nice cascade going or when you can block people's cascades, it's very satisfying. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a cascade is absolutely what drives the fun in this yes, game for me. Yes, agreed. Uh, not that everything else isn't interesting, but I think work, making the cascade work is the, is the most interesting part of the game. Um, the board is the right amount of tight for four, for sure. Um, in that, as we saw, like there's really only room for two people to cluster well. And actually, I think Edward and I probably didn't do a good enough job of stopping Martin and Alyssa from... No, we did a good job of stopping each other. Yeah. No, we, we excellent. Well yeah. done on that. Cheers. Cheers. There you go. <laughs> All right. um, I want to get back to one of the questions about, uh, to the question about the event. I, I, they don't have a giant impact on gameplay, but I do, I appreciate that they're there because they, it's a little injection of theme. Yeah, which I, which mm -hmm. I which I appreciate, and it's it's certainly not obtrusive. It fits with the game, so I, I kind of like that it's there. They 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 are. I don't want to call them trivial. They are very minor. Yeah. But they do give something to focus on. I I think they contribute to the game. Yeah. Personally, I would like to see a little bit more variety. Mm -hmm. Um, and this kind of falls. This kind of fits with. Oh, these were added late. Yeah. And so they are very. Blase, um, and, and, and but I don't know that they need to be like game breaking. I, I don't want anything right. massive. You don't want to change Just, it to the point where you're actually building your strategy around around that, right? right. Yeah. You want to have to work around it in a little bit, but yeah. not. But I would like to see a little bit more variety because, like, I think it's the second or third century. It's like. Take one cube more, take one cube less, or yes. so, and they just kind of play off of that, and mm -hmm. it just, eh. Um, I would like to see a little bit more pizzazz and a little bit more variety in that, but otherwise, yeah. I think they definitely contribute. I understand, now understanding that Philippe is colorblind, it makes sense on the colors on this game, because... Um, not my color... Tr I, I think yeah. it's garish, and it's... I'm not a fan of the graphic design and the artwork. Mm -hmm. I think a new edition of that can uh, add to that. I will say, though, that the graphic design of the actions is mm. really well done. Oh, because yeah. as soon as you, you're like, oh, yeah, okay, obviously. Yes. Uh, okay, right. I take them from passive or, you know, whatever. Like, oh, add it to my hand. Like, everything here is very well laid out. Yeah. 
I think that's really, really good. Yeah, you wouldn't want to change those really at all. Right. Yeah, yeah no, the iconography works really well. Mm. Agreed. Yeah. Um, but I definitely would like to see the colors redone. Um, yeah. And Although it's nice, I mean, I, I do like that it's like sort of roughly in the shape of the city, and you know that you've got some of the details of the city there. That's right. that that's cool. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, yeah. it ties into what the game is about, so mm -hmm. the, that setting fits. And I, I like the, these are real, all real buildings in Quebec. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm kind of assuming I recognize quite a few of them okay, <laughs> from right, having yeah. gone there. Yep. So yep. I'm assuming they're all, and that that is that gives the the even though that it's there's no real theme in the game in terms of you know you're not feeling you're, like you're building Quebec, yeah. it's the setting is mm -hmm. nice. And a setting make, does make something for a game, and, right. and it's nice to have a game that has such a nice setting in Quebec, and those building illustrations really do that. And it does theoretically play two to five. Um, four or five is really where you want to play this, so I don't know if a new version would have something to where it, that could be less and it could shine with less players. I don't know. I think I've played at five. Are there scaling things that happen at three? Uh, it's the number of workers that you start with, um, and some of the leaders have a flip side where it's two or three. Mm. But the board, three. Stays the board stays the same. same. The, the so board stays the open. same, right? Yeah, I suspect. Yeah, that that would mm. be my guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You get uh, you have more workers. So at five, three players, it's twenty five workers. With five players, it's twenty workers. So you have less workers from which so it. You know, it evens that out as yeah. far as it doesn't yeah. lengthen the game per se in that regard. So it's oh, not so there fewer, fewer cubes yeah, in here available in your supply. Right. Yep. Right. You know, I don't know whether you could do something with a less players by just having a different board that like um, like closes yeah, uh, one, one side of the board. Two flip uh, sides. You know, or something, you know, yeah. do, do think of it like Age of Steam. You you pick the map for your thing. Right. So yeah. it maybe it these regions just has two instead yeah. of three available. You know, and that just make sense. it tight. I mean, that makes sense for two and three players, mm -hmm. and then this side for the four and five, right? Like, I mean, yeah. that could totally be something that I think theoretically could work. Not because, I mean, there's nothing yeah. about the me the mechanisms of the game. That isn't suited to two or three player play. No, no, it's just the openness. But you probably wouldn't play this with Cindy at two, right? Not in this form, probably yeah. no. But yeah. But it would yeah. be nice. But I, mean, I do like having a game that I can play at two because then yeah. we we can get familiar the two of us playing and then right, the right, group. Yeah. And I like that combo. And they were saying that they there's apparently a prototype of a card game version of this which might be more suitable for two. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. Um, here, Philippe says, if a publisher is interested, the rights are available. I, I think this is ripe for a reprint. Yes. I, yeah, I, yeah. I totally. It's it's ten years old. Um, like I said, so the graphic design I think is well done. I think the artwork and the colors could be. I mean, it says a lot different. about the game that, that we sort of yeah. randomly plucked out of thin air to replay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so. I don't know anybody that's disliked this game. Yeah, yeah. that's played it. Yeah, I think um, I played it. What four or five times now, and I would just I'd play it again right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. Carlos says they enjoyed it too. So for okay. we'll take okay. that for what it's worth. Okay. Um, um, I just wanted to say on the event cards. For me, the event cards are very optional, and I mean this nice thing about this game is that it's easy to teach, and you quickly enjoy the mechanical qualities of the game. So it, mm -hmm. it's a great game to kind of take along to a game day or pull out. Um, and people haven't played it before, or they haven't played it in the last year or so. So an occasional game that you pull out, you know, once a couple of times a year or whatever, mm -hmm. um, it fits that mold really well. And if you're doing that, then the events don't really add anything to me. Mm -hmm. The events are really best if you're playing it much more regularly and you want a bit of variety. Mm -hmm. But I suspect if you had no events and you just pulled it out, that would also be really good. I don't think you're losing anything by them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's so it, an optional extra sort of here's, here's something you can add to the game would, would be the way I'd kind of frame it. Because I've got a feeling if I was just playing for somebody, people with the first time, I might be inclined to just not bother with the event cards because it's an extra thing that doesn't really need for the game yeah. to go. I mean, I'd only pull the event cards, you know, if we felt we wanted a bit of spice. Yeah. yeah. Fleet, Fleet pointed out that it does become perfect information if you don't have the events. Mm. Fair. And, that's fair and point. so, it, you know, you don't often see a perfect information game that's not like an abstract. Right. Mm. So. I mean, this and this game has some of the qualities of an abstract, but it's there's enough extra there that it's, yeah. it's a full euro, right? Yeah. So. 
Uh, Jeffrey says the production is of its time. I remember everyone commenting on how bright and colorful it was. And that was welcome at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Things have changed, yeah. no doubt. Um, and, and look, it's, it's not Metropolis. Um, oh my gosh. And, the, and it doesn't take away from the gameplay. It doesn't. It, uh, I mean, it's very easy I, to tell them apart. The one issue, the one issue where I think the colors do impact is take a look at this area right here. Mm -hmm. Remember that this, this, and this tie with that, and this doesn't tie because the colors match. I get it, but it's just. Right. I think it could be done in a better way, is all if, I'm saying. If it were really just higher contrast colors, like yellow stands out fine. It's the blue and red and purple that, that kind of... Yeah. yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Apparently, it's uh, it's available online. So there you go. All right. Cool. It is? Yeah. Apparently. Uh, where, Philippe? Where is this available? What uh, What site? So while we wait for that, uh, that's it. Well, you said so. a few copies on Amazon. Yes. Well, there were six... Before knows, we started. Who knows if that's still the case. But, so, but there you go. Um, all right, cool. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, thanks to Philippe. Uh, thanks to uh, Pierre, uh, the designers, both mm. of which who joined us tonight. Thank that you was, for joining us. Yeah, definitely. And, and well done. Legit yeah. well done. And I think we said similar last time we streamed this. Mm -hmm. that, yep. Yeah, that just really well done. So um, hopefully, hopefully uh, somebody picks this up. It, it should. I, is it going to sell like gangbusters? No. But is it going to sell enough to justify a reprint? I think so. And it should, because I think this is a game that if more people knew about it would, would get more love. Mm -hmm. So yep. yeah. there we go. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, that's it for the week. Uh, the, ep the podcast will release this weekend. Uh, I'll be off camping, but uh, um, Greg and Vitaly will make sure that happens. That's me and Liz talking what we've been playing. And then next week will be uh, us talking about teaching games. And do press the necessary like and whatever and subscribe Fair buttons enough. on the bottom of the thing because, as you all know, we need your thumbs. Send your thumbs to us. I can't get over people that know Martin from his area of expertise, yeah. that being their first introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so that's this Martin guy, this Martin Feller guy. So anyway, that cracks me up. Thank you to y'all for doing this. Certainly appreciate Thank it. Thanks to everybody out there who uh, chose to hang out with us tonight and, and to watch it after the fact. And uh, thanks to Jess for putting up with me. Uh, like, subscribe, support the show, patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. That's it. I'll see you all on Monday. Um, be kind, stay warm, or stay cool, I should say. It is mm. oppressively hot up here. Uh, so, yes, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, I'm rambling. All right. Good night, everybody. I'm Edward. Alyssa. Martin. Ken. All right. Take Ken. care, y'all. Have a good night. Yeah, I not that was way closer than yeah. I thought it was going to mm. be. Totally. I mean, you scored thirty and Martin scored forty-two. It's not that big of a difference. I, yep. Yeah, and, and Alyssa was. I mean, that's part of the reason I didn't want her expanding. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's a, no, no, that, was and, and, that was an absolutely necessary play. And you did right. If I get one of those, I, I feel like I had, I had a pretty. Those are both things. In if, if you turn either two. one of those into a two-star. Yep. Or even it's a one star, yeah. Three points. Yeah. 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 Or no, I guess one star wouldn't. Well, no, one star gets me these. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Goes, goes to, yeah. Sh goes right, to right, show right. that uh, I clearly do not have any clue how things are going to play out when I'm involved. <laughs> <laughs>